what happened on 9-11 is a phony, you know, and we've never learned the truth about 9-11. The whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be in those chips. And this is given me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. Aaron, what do you think women's liberation was about? We, the Rockefellers, funded that. We funded women's lib. They do whatever they want to do. What we want doesn't matter anymore. It's their agenda, it's their plans that matter. They have all the money they want. They can make all the money they want. They, they have a machine that can make all the money. <laughs> it's not about money. It's about control. It's about their vision of how they want to see the world. You hear George Bush saying democracy means freedom. No, democracy equals new world order. I believe God put me on this earth to be the best person I could be and put everybody on this earth to be the best they could be. You have to stand up for what's right in life. And unless you do that, you're nothing. Award-winning filmmaker turned freedom fighter, Aaron Russo was an amazing individual. You know, he'd been battling cancer for more than three and a half years when he began making America Freedom to Fascism that he shot, directed, edited pretty much on his own with just the help of a few people. An amazing individual. A long life of award-winning films, of hard work, and for standing up for the Bill of Rights and Constitution. You know, when we first went and shot this interview, I put it on the web for free. Uh, but parts of it have never been seen. So here today, you're going to have a chance to see the in-depth interview, the final interview with Aaron Russo. But his important work lives on. You know, he made one of the definitive films exposing the elite that control this nation and the world, the private Federal Reserve. And the information he put out two years ago rings more true today than ever. And uh, his film, America, Freedom to Fascism, and Mad as Hell, and the other great works he did, just continue like ripples in a pond uh, to light bushfires in the minds of men and women everywhere. So this film is dedicated to the one, the only, Aaron Russo. You know, if 9-11 was a phony, and I know it was, then stand up and say it's a phony. Don't be, don't be scared to tell the truth. Don't allow their, um, you know, their, their powers of um, trying to make you look silly uh, to frighten you. What did you think of what Charlie Sheen did? I love what Charlie Sheen did. I was so uh, respectful of what he did. I was, I want, I, I just applauded him. People but, saw right through that attack. They like they flipped the light switch and they went after him. Yeah, but you see, but they don't. You see, the thing is that more people don't come out and do it. You know, to build that wave. Charlie did it. I'm really proud of the guy. David Lynch did. But, they, but the media was smart and didn't bite this time. The, right. I mean, a few people have, but they're not picking up on it because they control the media. Brolin, James Brolin did on the View. I heard that. I heard that as well. But again, they're not picking Barbara up. Barbara Walters looks like she's about to have a heart attack. But they're not. But they don't pick up on it. You see, they they, they don't they don't allow it to go anywhere. You know, it comes if someone says something, they let it die. You know, but they keep perpetuating. You know, the war on terrorism. They keep perpetuating all these things that are lies. And uh, because we've given the Federal Reserve the money making power, they control the media. They control the government. And they're all in bed together. So we, we, you're fighting all this propaganda all the time. And it's a very difficult fight. Americans, mobilize. Stand together. Stand tall. Tell the government you're mad as hell. No longer cooperate with the government. Do not accept the national ID card. Do everything in your power to restore freedom and your individuality back to America. Stop being a country run by the institutions for the institutions. Let's go back to we the people, by the people, for the people, as opposed to we the institution, by the institution, for the institution. Stand up for your individual rights. Stand up for the godliness that's in each and every one of us. Thank you for watching this historic interview with Aaron Russo. Please don't just stand down after watching this film. Research the private Federal Reserve for yourself. Realize it is the main head on the Hydra that we have to go after. Realize that we can fight the political parties all day, but until we go after the heart, the root of the problem, nothing's going to get better. We have this ruling class of private bankers that issue all this fiat currency, and they have committed unbelievable crimes and have the audacity to claim that they're above the law. 
Ladies and gentlemen, now more than ever, we don't have a choice. It's us or them. Either the new world order is removed from power or the world faces more wars, more tyranny, and a nightmarish police state carried out by these eugenicists. So in the memory of Aaron Russo and every other freedom lover out there in history, and for the future of our children and the species, humanity itself, let's call for grand jury investigations of the private Federal Reserve. Let's arrest the bankers. Let's kick these foreign corporate criminals out of our country and get our constitutional republic back. Let's stop being distracted and diverted by the liberal and conservative puppets they stick up in our faces on television. Let's look past the front men to the actual architects of the new world order and bring them to justice. There's no way these arrogant bastards can get away with this if we expose them and speak out against them. And more and more, it's coming out, even in the mainstream media, that they are a pack of criminals who are above the law and who have hijacked our nation. But they're only above the law in our minds. We have to expose them as the criminals they are and bring them to justice. Look in the mirror. You are the solution. Take action and join the ranks of folks like Aaron Russo, Ron Paul, and so many others. God bless you all, and thank you for watching this presentation. Now spread the word about the true enemy of the people in the Fed, in the New World Order, in the hegemony of private central bankers. It is a big idea, a New World Order. In the near future, Earth is dominated by a powerful world government. It's known as the Bilderberg Group. Could their objective be world domination? For thousands of years, their dark order grew. Now, as they hail the birth of the New World Order, their great dream of exterminating 80% of humanity is at hand. For the first time in history, the elite's plan for world government is blown wide open. You will learn the secret that drives the entire New World Order agenda. Bilderberg is making great progress toward a world government, and only an educated, informed public can stop them in their tracks. Alex, it's Chalabi, eh? For the first time, all the pieces have been put together. The dots have been connected, and the picture is crystal clear. Earth's ruling elite believe they have discovered the fountain of youth. But before they can attain it, 80% of us must die. A psychopathic technocracy is establishing world government so there can be no escape from their plan. The new world order is the old world order. I mean, it's just the names have changed, the appearances have changed. Most people have no idea. They're not after money. They have all the money they need. They're after power. That's their aphrodisiac. I was pulled out of a plane in Munich. They interrogated me four hours. Some shots were fired. I need you to move off the problem. Their great dream of exterminating 80% of humanity is at hand. Endgame. Blueprint for global enslavement. You have been warned. Obama is notoriously a liar. We need to go to where the real architecture of government is, and it's not in a president. Wall Street has hijacked Washington in broad daylight. Well, Obama's already fudging. He's yep. fudged since day one in this election. The elite are using Obama to pacify the public so they can usher in the North American Union by stealth, launch a new Cold War, and continue the occupation of Iraq and Afghanistan. The globalists are outside all the nations. That gives them safety, and they play countries off against each other. You've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. Partnership and cooperation among nations is not a choice. It is the only way. What they're doing is 
using the existence of the United States to act out their Wall Street fantasies of world domination and maintaining their capital structures and maintaining their system of looting. The fight that this country has been waging since its inception is for the central bankers not to take over the country. President Barack Obama is only the tool of a larger agenda. Senator Obama had a desire to do some meetings. Others had a desire to meet with him tonight in a private way, and that's what we're doing. Presidential candidate Barack Obama was publicly criticizing the North American Free Trade Agreement in a bid for votes, but privately telling Canadian officials not to worry about it. If you talk to our generals, they are desperate for is a civilian uh, counterpart to our military force. What do you call this thing where you get this false sense of gratification, but because a black man is in office, everything's going to be all right? No, everything's not going to be all right. So I know how unpopular it is to be seen as helping banks right now, especially when everyone is suffering in part from their bad decisions. I promise you, I get it. The Obama deception. The truth strikes back. Get your copy of the Obama deception today at InfoWars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv.